Welcome back to the page, guys. Today I have something cool for you. This is a video from a training battle that I did a couple months back. This was with my 83rd Infantry Division reenactment group. We had done this just fighting some other guys in the unit for a little bit of a training exercise. You'll see in the video I had a fair amount of issues with this gun. It's a Springfield that I was borrowing from someone in this group. It was my first time using a Springfield like that, so I'm sure some of the problems were from user error on my part. But also for this battle, I was using those flat face blanks that are open at the front. After this, I switched to the crimped blanks. Those had a much easier time feeding into the gun and I barely had any problems once I switched to those. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys. I'm gonna edit it down a little bit because the raw footage is really long, but I think you guys will enjoy this. Anything? Looks clear. Right. No visual. You wanna fall back and meet up with the others? Yeah. All right. I got a, I got a stoppage. All right, you ready to move? All right, crossing in front. All right. They're obviously right over that ridge. 
me see if I can get my gun to shoot. Oh, situation. They're right over this hill. Yeah. I have a round stuck in my chamber. I see it. Trade me. Yep. You got it out, I guess, yeah. I don't know if you're gonna be able to shoot it or not. Try closing it. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. I put your safety on. Alright. We can try to sweep it. They know you two are here. Yeah. Enjoy we'll head that way. Yeah, I just be careful. It's really waiting. thick right here. So there's not a chance of us going straight in that way. No. Why don't you guys cut into the left over here? Kyle and I will kind of go into the right and go as far back as possible. We'll try to hit them from both sides. Okay. Okay. Do we have a approximate position? They're right over that berm. Couldn't see either of them directly, but we took a good amount of fire from them. Okay. Let's try to like double time, make contact with them. Yeah. You guys are coming in to get this. Yeah. Yeah. So come here, I'll fill you in. So, right across this hill, we're flying Kyle. Take him with you guys. With the 1919 and no 38. Let's start moving this way. True. An O3 that doesn't want to shoot. Here, go straight to the right, Kyle. Yeah, I can hear they're further left than we thought. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Oh, they're in there. <laughs> Did you see where they are? No, I just heard it right. Right where my muzzle's pointing, right over. I can see him moving around. I'm gonna move up, ready? Uh, let me reload. All right. You go ahead first. I'm on two rounds, so I wanna grab my end bug. I'm going straight back and not left. Ready to move? I'm moving. Oh. Well, I guess the war's over for me.
As you can see, I took a hit there. The battle wrapped up shortly after this. Some other guys fought on and things wrapped up once a few of the enemies died. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I just got a new camera set up. So make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna keep posting even more POV reenactment videos. All right, thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next one.